Hello folks, it's me again. Another video, another day about my Whirlpool waterless washing machine. As in the other videos, the model number is this fine American made machine. It's a WTW4950 XW1. Bought it at H&H &H Greg, Knoxville, Tennessee. August, no, it was July 2011. About three or four months into buying this washing machine, I decided my clothes stunk as bad coming out of the washing machine as they did going into the washing machine. And then one day I put five pair of pants, five shirts into this washing machine. The washing machine would not unbalance the load. And every time I stopped the cycle, it drained all my water and soap out. So I said to myself, I said, dude, the washing machine's killing us. We've got to find a better way to do this. And that's when... Bing bong, bing bong, the light bulb went off. My brain said, huh, wonder if I could take the lid lock that was, let me see if I can get this baby up in here. The lid lock, oh, here it goes. The lid lock normally goes there. You can see there's two holes right there. Why is that? because I took the screws out of that lid lock so I could take the lid lock off and stick down in the hole like that. So now this waterless washing machine says, all right, I'm ready to show the world how I can wash clothes without water. And Whirlpool will even tell you this washing machine, every time I call the corporate office and talk to people in the executive office, they'll tell you this self. This washing machine's fine and dandy. This is how it washes clothes. All right. Test case today is three shower curtains vinyl that you buy at Walmart for two or three dollars. I need three of them to keep the water off my walls in my bathroom of my house. So we're gonna load three. I'm picking up. Yep. Let me move my tripod out of the way. We're picking up one. We're loading it. We're picking up two, and we're loading it. And we're picking up the third one, and we're loading it. Now, the washing machine is on heavy. A coat boost is on off. Fabric softener, no. Extra rinse off. Wash temperature is cold. I have never washed my clothes in hot water. I just never saw the urge to. My clothes either get clean in cold water or they don't get clean. Now, she's thinking about putting water in. What little water it will put in. You might wonder what this little water hose is right here. Guess what folks, I had to plumb in a faucet so I could run a water hose over this washing machine. That's how I add my water. Now, if you're just buying a Whirlpool washing machine, I suggest you buy you a Home Depot five gallon bucket unless you want to plumb in a water hose so you can put water in your washing machine because that five gallon bucket, you can either do it with a five gallon bucket, you can do it with a glass, a container, a pot, a pan, saucepan, a glass, garbage bag, I mean whatever it takes to get water in this machine, trust me my friends, you're going to have to figure out a way to get extra water in this machine if you want your clothes to get washed. This is what you get for good money spent at H&H &H Greg for a quality Whirlpool washing machine. Now, we're going to hook the camera back up, get a tripod, and we're going to lay the tripod over this fine piece of American made in the USA contraption. So you can figure out if you want one of these pieces of junk or whether you'll just say thanks but no thanks. And I do think you would be wise to say thanks but no thanks. I'm trying to get this thing situated. Just bear with me folks. Uh oh. Just bear with me.
Whoa, look at our best water. Oh. oh, boy, that ain't no good. I'm going to have to... There we go. We're moving on now. I think we might have it. Alright. Oh, look at that water going in. Woohoo! You must be thinking, wow! No agitator. Look at that water going in. Woohoo! Woohoo! Boy, my water machine really making me happy. You're gonna hate this son of a gun. You buy a Whirlpool washing machine, you don't take your washing machine lid lock off within 30 days of buying it at H&H, Greg, to discover that your washing machine ain't never going to wash clothes to your liking. You don't do this within 29 days. You take that washing machine back to H&H, &H, Greg, on the 30th day or the 30th one day, they're going to say, sorry, chump, you're as stupid as the guy that shot these videos. We can't help you. Whirlpool got H&H, &H, Greg, money. H&H &H, Greg got your money, and what did you get for the money? You ain't get nothing. You got a wireless washing machine. Now you might think this washing machine is going to put in enough water to wash these three shower curtains. Let's just see how well of a job this washing machine does. And you can decide if this is good enough for you. I'm just putting it on, on the video. You can watch the video and see for yourself. After this machine puts all the water in that it's going to put in, I'm going to sprinkle some powdered soap on top of this vinyl curtain. So we'll see at the end of this video how much of that soap powder. Let me get the clothes situated where they're, they're normal. We're going to see how much, there you go. We're going to see how much of that soap powder is missing after 27 minutes of washing said before you go spend your hard-earned money for a Whirlpool washing machine, you can find out whether you want a weenie run up you or whether you'll just pass and go find some other brand. I can't tell you about the other brands, folks. Whirlpool and H&H &H Greg are the folks that robbed me. I admit, I was stupid. I thought if I went over to H&H &H Greg and bought me a high-dollar Whirlpool washing machine, like all the other Whirlpool products I've owned in the past, I thought I was getting a piece of quality equipment. I'm sorry. Maybe I'm stupid. All right. Uh, last video we shot, the washing machine fooled me. After I put the soap powder in, it stopped to put some more water in. So we're going to let it spin a few minutes before we sprinkle that soap powder on top. I'm going to shut up and let you pay attention to what you see. What you need to be looking for, I couldn't keep my mouth shut that long. What you need to be looking for is is bulk. We're trying to show you if any of these clothes are ever going underneath the water or whether they're just staying on top and spinning around based on the amount of water that the washing machine puts in. Oh, it didn't fool me this time. It's thinking, hmm, damn, if I put more water in, oh, Ha 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 You didn't fool me that time, washing machine, you idiot. Ha 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 I fooled you that time. So, that's the last water this machine's going to put in. So now I'm going to put the soap powder in as evidence of how much soap powder is left on top of these clothes after 27 minutes of washing. Here it goes. Let's sprinkle some there, sprinkle some there. Now, imagine you're a woman. Yeah, I don't have nobody else but me. Well, I got the cat, Walter. Walter has found another home. He obviously doesn't like my Whirlpool washing machine either. I think he's living someplace else part-time, but that's another story. I bought this washing machine because it said high capacity and low energy expense every year. I think at the most it was supposed to use $19 a year in energy. I thought, man, that's pretty good. I can wash my five pair of pants or six pair of pants, five pair of pants, six pair of shirts, plus my underwear, t-shirts, and socks in one load. And I won't have to wash two loads. 
boy, was not I stupid. It doesn't work that way no more, folks, with these Whirlpool wash, wash machines that are waterless. What you would have to do is, let's say you had a husband and two kids, what you would have to do is wash five pair of pants, five pair of underwear, five t-shirts, five socks for the boy. No, maybe seven pair of panties, seven pair of socks, and whatever else a girl wears for a top. I don't know. I've never been there, never done that. I don't know what they wear. But let's say your husband works at a crappy job all day, getting dirty, grindy, messy, comes home, he's got crap all over him. You think, oh, well, this high capacity, low energy washing machine will wash his five or, pair, five or six pair of pants a week. Even if I just wash his clothes, and I wash the other kids' clothes separately, I get my money's worth out of it. That would be true in a normal washing machine, but as you're going to see with my washing machine, it's not going to pan out that way. All this soap right here, some of this soap over here has been dissolved, but it's still right there. What's happened when the washing machine's putting water in, it gets the clothes wet as it's initially putting the water in. And in some cases, it dissolves the soap. But you can see soap. Look, look right there on top. We still got all kinds. Anyway, I'm not seeing no rotation. These clothes was on top to begin with. But anyway, I call that Whirlpool, like I said before. Whirlpool, they just figure, hey, we got a, a dummy on the line. We'll let them call up every week to the corporate office. And they'll connect us to the executive officer. And we'll let the idiot run his breath until he gets tired of talking. We'll say, well, we're sorry, Mr. Panquiman. There's nothing we can do. Your washing machine's doing exactly what it was designed to do. And they tell me thank you, and I don't get nasty with them. I don't cuss them, although I'd like to. And I don't threaten them, although I'd like to. I like to do a lot of things, but I can't. I'm not a stupid person. I don't want the FBI showing up at my door because I threaten to whatever you use your imagination. That's as far as we're going on this conversation. This part of it, anyway. Anyway, I call them about every week. They tell me my washing machine's doing exactly what it was designed to do. It uses low water. It doesn't use much water. We don't care if you put 15 pair of pants, 15 clothes in there based on its high capacity, low energy wash, wash machine. Well, the fact that it doesn't put no water in it? How can that be our problem? We sold you the damn thing. You bought it. You paid $558 for it. You should have known better. You should have known that this quality Whirlpool product did not put enough water in to wash your five pair of pants, five shirts, five spare socks, five t-shirts all at once. Get real, boy. How can you be that stupid in this day and time? Guess what? I was that stupid in this day and time. The evidence is right in front of you. You're watching it. Keep in mind, this is three lightweight vinyl shower curtains. The ones you go to Walmart at, pay two or three dollars for. I'm washing three of them all at once. They're, they're not going to get washed. It's going to be 27 minutes of nothing. Of nothing. Look at all that soap right there. All the other soaps done dissolved into the material. Not that that's the fact that the material went under the water. The soap just dissolved into it because it was wet. It did what soap powder does. And it's happening right over here too. This is what you get for $558. This is a heavy load setting. This is what you're getting. Imagine if you tried to wash a blanket in this thing. I think it will wash two sheets and two pillowcases. I think it will do that. I have to give the machine credit. It will wash five underwear, five t-shirts, and five pair of socks satisfactorily. It will do that. I'll give it that much credit. How many people just wash five pair of socks, five t-shirts, and five underwear? Most people in this country have a family. This washing machine is going to cost you a fortune. You'll see for yourself. I've got other things to do. I'm going to let the proof be in the pudding. 
I'm going to spare you my jaw for a few minutes. You'll appreciate that. You just watch the video. If you need a washing machine, this is what you're going to get you buy a Whirlpool washing machine. Get on Whirlpool Reviews. Look at all the reviews on all the Whirlpool washing machines on the internet. Don't take my word for it. Get on there and see what other people are saying about Whirlpool products. But remember, folks, you don't remember nothing else I say in order to see this washing machine doing this. If you go buy one at the store and you're trying to see if I'm telling the truth, you have to take the lid lock off the lid. You have to stick it in a hole where it normally goes so the machine thinks the lid is locked and it will operate. I've even had them folks at that fine executive officer in Whirlpool, Benton Harbor, Michigan, actually tell me the reason the washing machine ain't washing correctly because the lid lock ain't on the lid properly. Now, I might not be the smartest person in the elevator. I might not be the smartest light bulb in the socket. I might not be the smartest flea on the dog. I might not be the smartest cat in the water tub. I might not be a whole lot of things on this planet. I'm willing to admit to that. But anybody trying to tell me the reason my washing machine ain't working correctly is because I took the lid lock off the lid and stuck it in a hole so I could pull the washing machine in and think the lid was locked so I could see why my clothes stunk. As bad coming out of the washing machine as they did going in. Uh, let me bleep myself. There's a whole lot of cussing in there. You didn't have to hear it because I bleeped myself out. All right. Got other things to do. I gotta go get some firewood for the wood stove. I gotta clean my house up a little bit more. I gotta do a whole lot of things and on top of this. So I'm gonna step away for a few minutes, leave you both to see it for yourself in silence. I'm back, folks. I thought I had a lot to do, but when I'm running these tests on this magnificent Whirlpool waterless washing machine that I own, it's just hard for me to stay away. It's just hard for me not to stand over the top of this machine looking down this clothes and curtains and all the other things that I've washed with this machine. It's just hard for me to keep my mouth shut. Look at that washing. Mm, 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 mm. I'm going to tell you another clue about a washing machine, folks. This is the second thing you should never forget that I told you. Anybody who buys a washing machine without an agitator that goes from the bottom all the way up to here, I'm going to tell you right now, you're crazy. Because after these clothes get washed, I'm going to run another video showing this same load where I added water so the three curtains would actually be in water getting washed instead of just floating up here on top. The problem with not having an agitator, which this washing machine does, and it's got a little tit that sticks up from the bottom, just kind of smiles at you and says, when you're looking down at it, it just sits down on the bottom, kind of looks down there at the bottom machine looking up at you going, all I hear it saying is, sucker, sucker, hey you fat sucker, 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 go buy another washing machine without an agitator, sucker, and I look at, at it, it's down there laughing at me, looking up, calling me sucker. And I'm thinking about the day that this washing machine quits coming on. And I'm thinking how I'm taking it across the street. 
and we're going to have a big funeral for this washing machine. I'm going to invite all my heavily armed friends to come over to my house, and we're all going to go across the street with shotguns, rifles, pistols, and that little old tip sticking up that they call an agitator. I'm going to read it its death sentence. I'm going to pronounce it guilty of stupidity for calling me a fat sucker. And then I'm going to step back and me and my friends are going to commence to sending this whirlpool washing machine to where it should have been in the first place, the scrap heap. Because this washing machine ain't good for nothing. You can throw family cockroaches in here with peanut butter stuck on their butts. This washing machine would be doing good to even get the cockroaches wet. They'd be sitting down there in the wash water laughing, giggling, be wanting to come back. I throw two or three stink bugs down in this washing machine just to see if I could drown the stink bugs while I was washing the clothes. Stink bugs climbed on top of the clothes and was hollering, Hey, let me be, let me be, I love getting washed. And <laughs> had to take them up with some tissue, send them to their ancestors in the commode where I send the rest of the stink bugs that managed to infiltrate my castle. No don't have much of a castle, but I don't like stink bugs in my castle. I don't think they really care what I like. That's another story. Anyway, thank goodness that my job, and I'm not going to tell you what I do for a living, but I will give you a clue. I don't sit around on a sailboat. I don't sit in a corporate office answering the phone in an executive office of Whirlpool making that big money. I'm just a poor old stupid bastard that actually went over to H&H &H Greg. Today I'm looking for a quality Whirlpool washing machine. What do you got? He turned this piece of crap loose on me, took my money. I was wondering why he was smiling as I was walking out the door. I know that he knew there was no way I would ever take the lid lock off this machine. And I would never find out why my clothes stunk as bad coming out of the washing machine as they did going in. And I know I'm repeating myself here a few times, but any of my friends will tell you that's what I do best. I'm like a recording machine. You'll hear a lot of things I say over and over again. Say, the cat's done run off on me. I guess he got tired of hearing the same thing over and over, but that's his problem. He's lucky I feed him. I don't even know if he kills rats anymore. He's so fat and lazy. Kind of like me. Anyway, damn, I don't think this one has ever seen any water. You got eyeballs. You tell me. Now, when this thing finishes the wash cycle, I'm going to cut the camera off because there's no use going on anymore. Hell, if the damn wash machine didn't wash the clothes, ain't no worrying about whether they rinse the clothes. Whatever the wash machine does and rinse, that's what you live with. <laughs> the rinse cycle, I'll tell you this, but I ain't wasting my time recording it. I'll give you a little clue. The rinse cycle is worse than the wash cycle. I think the washing machine's ready. I've yapped my job. I've had so much fun yapping my job that 27 minutes has went by and I didn't even realize it. Now, you folks are lucky because some of my friends at work claim if my lips are moving, I'm lying. I'm not lying about this washing machine, folks. I'm trying to save y'all some good money. Move on to a General Electric product or LG or Samsung. I'm not saying their products are any better, but they didn't rob me. Whirlpool did. Yep. Wash cycle's over, folks. So is my mouth yapping. I'm turning the camera off. You seen for yourself. That was three curtains. Vinyl in nature. Lightweight. Two or three dollars at Walmart. Washing me, Dean. Don't even come close to washing them. That's all right. Hell, they weren't that dirty to begin with. I was just wanting to test them in this washing machine so I could post this video number three about my waterless Whirlpool washing machine. Folks, don't be a fool like I was. Take that lid lock off as soon as you get that machine. 
pallet full of the clothes you expected to wash based on the term high capacity, low energy. You do all that in the first 25 days of buying that machine from whatever store you bought it from, you make sure you do that. You'll be taking your washing machine back because I'm telling you right now, these low water energy rated washing machines are trying to shove down your throat. They're all making their money. And you're going to be stinking when you go to work and you're wondering why people's nose are twitching when you're around. You be able to blame your washing machine. You won't have to worry long because if everybody's buying a Whirlpool washing machine, everybody at work's going to be stinking. Y'all just be thinking the other person farted instead of you did. That's all right. Farts ain't that bad. Unless you're at my work and I come out of the bathroom. You got you got another problem beside washing machine. That's another story, folks. I'm not going there on this, this movie. I'm going to spare you the details on that. She's fixing the... Here she goes. She's fixing to drain it. And this movie is fixing to be over. As soon as the spin cycle starts pumping the water out, what little it put in there, there it goes. So, folks, that's 27 minutes. All that is is rinse. Out. That water will come on for about three seconds. And why it comes on and does that, I ain't goddamn clue. I could, I was going to say piss more water than that, but you can't say that on a movie. Oh, well, I just did. Stupid me. I hope they don't delete my video due to that term. Eh. Anyway, folks, it squirted a little water in, and a little, remember on this washing machine, little is the key word. It's always going to be a little of anything. A little washing, a little water, a little capacity, a little energy use, little loads. Uh, you, you name it, little's going to be the key word on your wash, Whirlpool washing machines. Folks. I'm fixing to turn this video off as soon as this video starts showing this drum spinning. That means for sure it's went into the spin cycle. It's draining water. Like I said before, the rinse cycle is even worse than the wash cycle. I'm going to spare you the gory details. Use your imagination on that statement. Been nice filming the video for you. I'm just trying to save you from Whirlpool. You take my advice, you see the video yourself, you can accept it as the truth, or you can, or you can just go down there and waste your money like I did mine. So, all right, folks, spin the cycle zone. Video's over.